going to show you all the steps it takes to uh, install a startup image on your Baofeng DM32 UV radio. Uh, these new radios, they work with a program that will help you upload the image. It works and is a little bit easier than some of their or older radios to, uh, to get an image installed as your startup screen. So if you want something that looks like this, that startup, uh, I'll show you all the steps, the program that you need to install on your computer and how to get going with it. Uh, the first thing with this on the radio, you want to go into your menu and make sure that the is set to where it'll show the image when you start up. So if you click this and then try that again, go into settings, radio settings, display function, start display and then you want it set to picture that's the way it comes standard but you want to set it to picture hit ok and make sure that that's correct and then you can back out to the radio on it and i'm going to show you on the computer now how to walk everything through and get it done but you'll need this you'll need uh, the programming cable here these are pretty inexpensive i'll put a link to the the radio and the cable and to the software that you need to put on your computer and this will only work uh, with a Windows system with it. So here we go with that part. To get the software you need, you need to go to the uh, Baofeng radio download section. I'll put a link in the description below here. Um, when you get to that page, you're going to have to scroll down and look for your radio. At the bottom here, can see it lights up the DM32 UV. That's what you look for. Click that. It'll bring up the software tools. Um, this is for programming. If you want to uh, add uh, channels through your radio through the software, you can do that with this, or you can go to the picture tool. That's the one you'll need to change the image on it. So you download the picture tool by clicking that. Just loads it for you then you'll have to install that. Okay, once you've got that picture tool installed on your computer, uh, there's a few steps you need to go through. And when you're going to install these photos on your uh, Baofeng radio, um, with it, you're going to need to go in a certain order. Sometimes if you go out of order of the way you plug in your cable, connect the radio, uh, open the uh, app, it can actually cause issues and not work very well. So the steps you sort of want to go in with it is to first, you want to turn your radio on. Takes a second to boot up. Once it's loaded, then you can plug in the cable. So let's open the side here. Plug your cable into it. Do that first, or sometimes it won't work. Then you take your USB side, plug it into the computer. You should hear it sign in. And then once you've done that, you can turn on your app. So just double click that. It'll load it up. It should automatically on here pick the COM port that your computer's using. So it'll find it usually and tell you what port. In this case, it's number three on here with it. Sometimes if it uh, doesn't show that port on there, you got to go into your device manager, open it, and look and see what port that uh, it's listed on. So um, if you open that, once you found your device manager, it'll have ports and comms on the bottom here. If you click that, it'll show you your port and it'll show the comm on here. So when you're logged in down here, it'll show the comm number and this one is showing three. So make sure you set this to three. You want 
this set at color if you're going to use a color image here. And then the image that you're going to upload, you want it to be 240 by 320 width. Um, it will try to resize the images for you when you go to upload it, but not always. They don't always work. So the image you want to upload, you can upload a .bin file, or you can, with the new ones, you can upload a JPEG file. And what this program will do, it'll convert that JPEG file into a .bin file to be able to upload correctly to your radio. So you don't have to put it in a bin file yourself now. You can use just a standard JPEG and it works, but it needs to be a fairly lower resolution. So I think it's around 200 or below that the radio can set, accept anything bigger than that. Um, it won't accept, it'll reject it. And usually with a photo that small, two inch screen like this, um, 150 or smaller is uh, fine for an image on here. So if you look at that, you can see the size you need. So what you want to do to upload it, you click here, open picture, select open picture, select from your desktop what image you want. So find that image, hit open with it. And what it's doing there when it loads, it has the original JPEG in this converted bin file that automatically converted it for you. So after you do that, you select download here. Once you hit that, it'll start loading that to your radio. It takes just a short amount of time, but once that loads it up, it'll tell you it's loaded correctly and it'll flash that image on your screen. So you may be able to see this here. It quickly shows you the image and then backs out. So when you're backing out of this, um, you want to clear this out, hit OK, close the program, then turn your radio off and you can unplug it and remove your cables from there. And then when you start your radio back up, that image should be on there and correct for you. So let's see if it worked. So it shows a start image with it. And that's really all you got to do to load that image on there. So if this helps you out at all. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you.